I brought her into Australia because we needed safety. She is my responsibility and I will always keep her safe. A mother protects her child all the time. We've been here in Australia for three years. This is where we live now. On her first day of school, I think I never could be happier, proud. She started in January, the grade one. She loves school. In March, I got the government letter. Because she turned six years old, the help payment, they stopped. No warning, just a letter. They said we are not vulnerable enough. I have no family here. At home, my mother, my sister, we would help each other. I need some help right now because there is nothing left. I make her lunch for school, but I know eating at the moment. This isn't the life that I hoped when we arrived in Australia. Actually, back in Iran, I was a chef. I was working in a big restaurant. I dream one day I open my own restaurant where everyone can share the food I cook. But right now, I'm just working on surviving. They say that I won't know until 2021 if I can stay in Australia. What am I gonna do until then? How can we survive? Government cuts to vital support for people seeking asylum have created a crisis. Right now, hundreds of people like Ada are going without. Without food, without medical care, and without a home. You can be the difference. Please, donate today. Make it a warm winter for those without.